Okay, this video is how to draw something with a dome on top. And I've just drawn a box. Now, usually buildings with domes, you gotta carefully figure out how wide you want this thing. If it's a really, really wide building, it might have a really shallow dome on it. If it's a, a narrow, narrow building, it might have almost one that is you know, up like this more. So decide how you're gonna want your dome and what kind of a building it is. This is gonna be almost a tower and then we could add other buildings around it. Um, the way to do that is you're going to need to be able to find the center of the dome. Think of it like there's a little wire or a little point to the top and you've got to figure out where that is. Otherwise it starts looking like it's an ice cream cone that is leaning. Okay, you don't want that. So the way to do that is you've drawn a basic box here. Now you're gonna draw that box like it's made out of clear plastic because we want to find the back corner. So I'm gonna run this and take this line back to the vanishing point. Take the back corner back to the other vanishing point. Okay, now I've got one corner, this is the left corner, front corner, right corner, and there's my back corner that's slightly offset. All right, so now when we find the center of anything, we draw an X. So we're gonna draw from the corners of the top of the building. I'm gonna go from there to there. So that's from the back corner of the box that we can't see because, you know, unless it was clear plastic, to the front corner of the box, from the left corner of the box, to the right corner of the box, and that is my dead center. Okay, then I can go straight up from that and say, all right, how high do I want my dome? Up in here, probably. Okay, I'm gonna say, well, probably up in here. Now, you can pick a template and see if you can get a half circle out of it. You can, you know, pick something around the classroom that is this wide if you want. I, I find it easiest to just draw the thing because I think we can draw it and fake it in better than we can, you know, looking for a circle that's exactly this size. So if we take that, we pull this. Once again, I'm turning my paper so that I can use my hand as kind of a fulcrum. And we pull this across here. Does that make sense? Okay, so when you get that done, you'll probably come in here with an eraser and pull that off. And then, but that is like the little center aerial, if it had a little tip top on it. Okay, but we found center, we went up, we drew from each side, we put the same, uh, same curve on each side. Now, let's say that instead of having that curve to it, you want to make something that looks like it's a four corner triangle, you know, a, uh, up here. And all you would have to do then is take this and draw a line to the front corner, to the side corner, to the other side corner. I should use a ruler. I would probably come past a little bit so you actually get like a little overhang. So it looks a little bit better. Okay, pull this one down. Run these to the vanishing point. Run that one to the vanishing point. that little edge back. Run that other little edge back. And that gives you a totally different look. And then you've got something that looks like a pyramid on top of your building. But once again, you are still straight up and it looks like it's not bending or leaning on you. All right. So that's how to put um, an interesting roof on top of another building. And you could add other buildings out here and say, all right, well, what happened out here? And make this the corner of the, the castle or whatever you're doing. Okay. All right. So that's um, putting roofs on things that are unusual. 